Hi you guys, it's Friday, happy Friday. It is almost seven o'clock, I'm about to take my daughter to her friend's house. I think I'm gonna go to Michael's after I drop her off, so you guys come along with me. I'm gonna be doing my weekend market yeah. prep vlog, so make sure you're subscribed and make sure you watch all the way through so that you can see how much I got done over the weekend. I forgot to tell y'all that I'm here at Michael's. Can you tell? Look at the yarn. Okay, what kind of yarn is this? <gasps> I like this. They're actually pretty stocked on their loops and threads yarn. So I'm gonna get some of this. All right. I got four skeins of yarn, but um, it's not on sale. So, and I have no vouchers, so I probably really don't need to be buying it, but I'm gonna get it anyways, because I know what I'm gonna make with this. It's 11 o'clock on Friday, and I, yesterday I crocheted this little turtle head, or was that this morning? Actually, it was this morning I crocheted this little turtle head. <laughs> I almost couldn't remember. I also just finished the little flippers, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the shell. And I know it's late, but I'm gonna try and get the entire turtle done. And then tomorrow, I think I'll probably try and do like the stem because it's gonna be the strawberry turtle. And I'll cross that off my list. And then tomorrow, I don't know what I wanna do tomorrow. If I wanna work on some strawberries, and if I do a strawberry plush, I'm gonna probably try and do two strawberry plushies. And then sometime this weekend, I wanna do some bees and I'm gonna crochet some roses as well, red roses. So that is on my agenda for the weekend. I will also try and do some other market prep things that I kind of wanted to get to, but we'll see. All right, you guys, it is 12.34, and in the morning, you guys, in the morning, and I finally finished the turtle, so this is going to be a strawberry turtle, but I am not going to finish the rest of it. I still have to sew it closed, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go to bed, and I'm also going to have to do the stem tomorrow and the seeds all around, so look, look at my nail. Y'all, y'all let me come on here like that. Oh, <laughs> this is it. I finished this. So tomorrow is a new day and I will figure out what I'm going to crochet when I wake up. I'll just come on here and say that. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed because I am tired and I really want to get some more stuff done, but I'm just going to wait until tomorrow. I'm just glad I got this done now. So that is something else to cross off of my list. So yay. For me getting it done i didn't want to go to bed until i could put this in my pile of things that i've already done this week and this is what i get because it is almost one o'clock in the morning i hate when this yarn does this you guys i love the yarn but i hate this happy saturday you guys it is 11 o'clock and i have been up since like 8 30 but i didn't really start crocheting until a little bit later all I have done this morning, I made these two little bees. So that's it. <laughs> that's all I have done. I am about to go pick up my daughter from the barn. And then I have to go stop by and pay for the strawberry festival. Um, I've been talking to the lady and I'm going to stop by and pay her today. So yeah, I have to go do that. And then we're going to take the dog to the dog park. Um, I'll show you. Well, the only thing I've done are the two bees and the strawberry turtle, which is not yet complete. I just need to put the stem on and I need to put the seeds on and then that will be done. Honestly, I could crochet a few more of the bees. I just don't know if I want to keep on doing the pink bees or if I want to do some regular ones as well. They ended up a lot smaller than I was thinking. And this is the loops and threads. So I used the pattern by of sticks and yarn. I think 
I don't know. Is that the name of her? Yes. Okay. It's of sticks and yarn. So that's the pattern that I used. And I do like the size of the bees. Um, using that pattern when you use the Bernat blanket yarn. So I think it calls for like an eight, a eight hook and eight mm. I don't know what y'all say, but anyways, it's a size eight hook is what I use with the Bernat blanket and that pattern. I like the size that it comes out to. That was a lot smaller and almost could be like a little backpack buddy, but I don't know if I'm going to turn it into that or not. I think I'm just going to do keep them regular. Anyways. All right. So I am going to go get ready to go get her and then I will figure out what else I want to make when I get home. Are you ready to go somewhere? Are you ready to go? You are? You, you are? guys, I know that probably looks like, what is that on her leg? But she's had that ever since we fought her. So who knows? She's ready to go though. I like the lighting a lot better here, but I hate that my reflection is back there. I forgot to show you guys what I got, I think, at Michael's last night. So I went to Michael's, obviously. Let me get my thumbnail. Bless you. Bless you. Okay. <laughs> is that going to be my thumbnail? I don't know. So I got this because I don't know if I'm going to make lavender or not, but I might. And I needed a different color purple. So I did that. I also got more white. I love this loops and threads, the sweet snuggles light. I love this white. And I actually got black because I want to make a Highland cow and I want to do brown and black. I already have the um, brown uh, chenille home slim. So they were all out of that when I went to the store, but they did have the black. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I also grabbed this color, uh, Sweet Snuggles. I also have the dark pink one. And I thought maybe I could make like a bigger size jumbo bee or um, maybe not jumbo, but just a bigger bee. So we'll see. I'm going to try and do that. And then I guess that's it. So that is what I got at Michael's. And um, I've been putting all of my little receipts in a little box on my kitchen table because this year I really want to do better about keeping track of my expenses. And like, I just want to do the business side of things, the office side of the business thing. I want to try and keep up with it a little, a little bit better than what I have been. So, or from what I did last year, because I didn't do very well at all. So that's it. And okay, bye. <laughs> it is 445 and I have done absolutely nothing since I showed you the two bees that I made earlier this morning. I am actually at Best Buy now because I had to order a massage gun. I was going to go get a massage, a chair massage, but they were all filled up because my shoulders and neck hurt so bad and I don't know if I'm sleeping wrong but I also think it's affecting me in fact I know it's affecting me when I'm crocheting because it's hurting it's putting a lot of strain on my neck and my shoulders so I got a massage gun and I'm gonna pick it up at Best Buy and lo and behold there's actually a Joann's right next door so I will be going in there as well. And the thing that really baffles me is the fact that like I'm not crocheting anything but yet I feel like I need to go in there and look at the yarn. This used to be Bed Bath & Beyond, and look at their sign. All right, we're trying this thing out, you guys. Whoa, okay, I'm ready. I mean, it kind of feels all right. Try it on this side now. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that is my bone. It's almost 8.40 and at night, still Saturday, I still haven't done too much. I've literally only crocheted four bees today. <laughs> um, so that's where 
that's how it's going right now. Um, I only had five bees on my list and I noticed that I did three pink bees and then I just did one blue bee um, because I don't really know like what colors to have and I might try and do the black and yellow. The only thing is with the black and yellow ones, I'm going to be switching to Bernat blanket and that yarn is going to produce a bigger bee. So I don't know. I'm thinking about like the pricing, but this is everything that I have made. Um, so far I still haven't finished this, but this is everything that I've made for this last week. And the only thing that I did this weekend was basically starting Friday, the turtle, which you saw, and then these four bees. So I don't know, this is what my list is looking like. Obviously not much has come off of here. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing the cat toys for this market. I do plan on making another Highland cow. I just don't know if I wanna use this pattern because this is a cute pattern and it was fairly simple. Or do I wanna use the one that I bought from Madeline Mako? Uh, I just haven't really figured out which one I wanna use and it's just going to be a nor like a normal normal black and brown. come on here and show my face it's just going to be a normal black and brown highland cow but i do want to have another one like that i don't know what my hair is doing up here other than being gray and glistening for you guys <laughs> i'm just still stuck in the like market prep like what kind of items what price point am I looking at right now because I definitely I feel like for the rest of this weekend I'm really gonna need to work on roses that's like the big thing and I'm gonna have to do I really want six roses I still don't know how I'm gonna package them if I'm gonna put them in bouquets or not I don't really know I haven't really thought about it yet so we're gonna go walk the dog hopefully for the last time tonight. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come back and reevaluate my plan of action for the rest of this evening. We'll see what happens then. <laughs> Sunday you guys I haven't really come on here to show my face I'm getting ready to set this up so I can sit down and talk to you it is five o'clock and I am just now coming on here I haven't really done anything actually you would have seen the clip before this I did crochet a strawberry so that's basically finished let me show you let me show you what I got going on first of all so this is the strawberry that I finished today and I just need to put a mouth on it and then I need to do the stem for the strawberry turtle and then I have two of these heart pals I'm gonna put a smile on those and that's it for this little section right here and what I thought I would show you is I was talking to my daughter my assistant the manager the person who runs this show <laughs> Uh, to discuss the plan of action because I'm not going to get all of this stuff done, obviously. So what the plan is right now, I am going to make one more Highland cow and it's going to be just a black and a brown Highland cow. I'm actually going to use the same pattern that I used for the pattern test and that was by Traveling Pony Studios. I'm going to just use the same pattern and make another one. So originally I had four written down to get done. I'm not gonna get all four done. I'm just going to do that one other one. And then I am going to do one more B. I already have four Bs done and I need to do one more to reach my goal of five. I also am going to try and squeeze in at least two more tofu turtles because honestly, that would bring me up to eight and that's $80 in inventory. The bees were also really easy to make and I could probably knock out enough to get 10 bees as well. I really want my main focus to be 
flowers at this point. So whatever I get done today and then tomorrow, those are gonna be kind of like my loose end days of what I can crochet as far as like really like market prep items. The rest is going to be mostly made up of roses. And if I can get to any daisies or sunflowers or tulips, then I will. But that's it. I am gonna focus on the roses because I still need to think about my display options. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of the wooden crates because I really liked the wooden crates, but I have a car and having everything fit into my car is a struggle. I just want to have an easy process of packing everything up in my trunk, in the back seat, and then unloading it. That way, when I don't have help with me, I can actually easily do it by myself, even with my help with me, uh, which is my manager again. <laughs> Even with her with me, I still want it to be easy for the both of us. So I would love to fit my beach wagon because I have one of those. I would love to be able to fit that into the trunk. And this market and probably for at least the first half of this year, I am only going to have one six foot table and one four foot table. So I really need to think about how I can display my items and what I want to display. So that's kind of what we're working with right now. I will say another thing that I thought I would just bring up in this vlog is I just watched Katie being creative. I was watching her Instagram stories and she brought up something that I have been thinking about because she was right. The, the, Amigurumi and the plushies are really like they've become so popular and there's a lot more competition with it and that being said when I go to a market I want to be able to apply for a market and not have to worry about there being six other vendors who are selling the same things so I've been saying since I started making the flowers like maybe I kind of want to venture off into the flowers because I do enjoy making those. And if I did that, I I haven't seen a vendor selling crocheted flowers just yet, like not locally anyways. And I just think that that could be something that could set me apart right now. I do want to find something that is going to like set me apart from the other vendors there. And there's always going to be competition and that's okay because I think that everybody has their own customer base so I think that's okay I just want to be able to kind of have my own little uh something different something different right right wow I'm about to start this Highland cow oh my gosh I'm about to start this Highland cow and this is all of the brown yarn that I have. So I'm hoping that this is going to be enough. I think it is. I think that's going to be enough. It's just going to be a small one like the pink one that I did last week for the pattern test. And then I'm using the same size hook. So I'm using a 4.5 sized hook and yeah, I think that's going to be it. Um, so my main focus is going to be the roses this week. Roses slash flowers this week. So I think that I'll be able to get at least six of them done, which was my goal for the red roses. Um, I won't have a total of all of the things that I wanted to get done done, but I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to end up still with about a thousand dollars in inventory. So I still call that a win. Uh, depending on what I sell at the market, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to make for the next week because I actually have the same market the following weekend on the 18th. So we'll have to figure out, we'll just have to go over everything after the tent. Good morning y'all. It is Monday and it is the ending of this weekend market prep vlog. I did not market prep really anything this weekend to be honest with you. I think I'm gonna 
even out at a thousand dollars for my market on Saturday. I'm okay with that. I I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, I just think that I got very overwhelmed with all of the yarn that I have everywhere, which I did buy a shelf. Uh, you may or may not have seen that in this video. I don't know, but I did get a shelf and I will be filming. I think I'm going to film like an organize my yarn with me or something. I don't know. Um, but I did get that. So hopefully that'll take care of like when I looked at all of this stuff, I just want to make everything. And that's the problem. I want to make all of the things and I just can't do that. And I have to keep reminding myself that each market is different and you're never going to have like the same type of customers, I guess, basically like each market is going to be so different and it's going to bring so many different customers. So it's okay if you don't have everything that suits everyone. Uh, you can do custom orders if you want to do that. But um, I did finish this rose this morning. So I have one more and that will make 10 of these type of flowers here. And then all week this week, I'm going to really put my focus on um, the red roses and I also am going to have a uh, Highland cow. So the Highland cow that I'm going to make is going to be brown and black. I think I showed you guys that too. Um, but I'm going to use the same pattern that I used for this cow and I'm going to have a brown and black one. So, uh, I'm going to work on that and then the roses and that's going to be pretty much it. If I get around to it, I may make four more tofu turtles. I haven't made up my mind yet. It just depends. But, uh, I mean, you know, I did what I felt that I could do considering I work full time as well. I made $400 in inventory over the last two weeks. So I think that that's not bad, to be honest with you. So I do have some things that I'm going to work on the rest of this week. But other than that, I will see you in my next vlog. I don't know if it's going to be the market day vlog or what I'm going to have up next. But stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed so you guys can watch my next video and see how I do in my market. Bye.